Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Need to move. If we still to need to handle. buy more ammo. Yeah. It did not restock, interesting. Oh no, maybe it did. No, it did. Okay, maybe I was wrong then. Maybe I was wrong last time and it did restock. Interesting. Huh. I thought it showed 19. How much can I afford? Mm, not much more. I might do one more. Yeah, I want to do one more. And then spend as much as I can. Crap, wrong button. Can I sit here? We can only sit in certain spots, really? That's so weird. Why, I wonder. Huh. Oh well, it is what it is. Alright. I want to do one more day, and I want to buy as much ammo as I possibly can. Before I'm actually completely broke as a joke. And then we'll move on. I meant to do this off camera, but I forgot. I went ahead and hit record without doing this, so I'm sorry. Yeah, my mistake. <laughs> Three more hours. Actually, four more hours, because for some reason it does all that crap. But you know what? I don't care. Oh. Um, that's not how that works. Hey, Todd, I found a bug in your game. Oh, wait, no, it's still... Oh, no way. Does it still have that FPS glitch? I think it does. I... Th no, okay, man, never mind. You know, I think that might be fixed. <laughs> yeah, what? Hey. You that turn... Might be a waste of... <laughs> yes, let's... You turn your back from me. 16 ammo types now. Oh, hello. 2,000. That one will break the bank. That's fine. And we're broke. All right, what's up? Perfect. Okay, so now we have how many? Perfect. Oh yeah, we're. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh yes, this is wonderful. Okay. What is this, cyberpunk? Ah. <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> Security's got its eyes on Saburo Akatiko. That guy's trouble for the status quo. If you know what I mean. What is this, Cyberpunk? Looks <laughs> like an NPC from Cyberpunk almost. Oh wait. I think that's where they got their inspiration. <laughs> The fire rate's crap, I'll pass. Yeah, no, the fire rate's crap. I'll pass. Hey, thanks for stopping by. The name's Ken. Let me know if you have any questions. I know these weapons like the back of my hand. Likewise, let me know if you need any help. I'm always happy to talk shop. What brings you to Ryujin Tower today? Oh, good luck. Hopefully they'll hire you and we can stop listening to this non-stop audio ad. Sure thing. Let me know if anything appeals to you. Uh. 
<laughs> Nothing but piss poor fire rate. Bye now. <clears throat> okay, good. You carry that still. Excellent. That's what I want. Well, we're so broke we can't afford to pay rent. We only got five cents to our name. Welcome to Reugen Industries. Can I help you? You must be one of the candidates that Imogen Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Okay. I've got my eye on you. Yeah, so do I. Fancy little building they got here. Oh. Well, uh, go run a tight ship around here. Oh, I can't imagine being forced to spend my days doing menial work in an office like this instead of exploring the stars on the bridge of a spacecraft. <laughs> they had to put that in a video game, didn't they? Keep out of my way, and I'll keep out of yours. Oh, uh, but that's the. That was like a kick in the pants for everyone who's just in an office. <laughs> I approve. Don't cause any trouble. Eh. Aw. I'm not fat. I'm not fat. Uh, I'm big boned. That's all it is. Uh, uh. <clears throat> Might want to fix that, Todd. <laughs> Just saying. Great. A full spacesuit. That was not a maze. Have a seat. And your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. When they ask for your greatest strength. Oh, That's true. Just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm has failed us and believes you to be a decent match, which I'll take up with our technicians later. So. Let's get this over with. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? <laughs> uh... An excellent question. Especially since when asked how familiar you were with Ryujin, you answered, not at all. I'm sure you just did your homework before the appointment, right? But let's move on. This next one should be interesting, <laughs> considering you marked having zero experience. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? It's entry level. I'm just winking it. <laughs> and judging from your application, I take it that's why you applied. Not that I'm going to argue, since I feel the same. So, next question. <laughs> How motivated are you to succeed? <laughs> she does not look pleased at all. <laughs> Here. 
Here at Ryujin, that's completely up to you. It's not unheard of for someone like you to reach an executive level position. Plus, we're pretty good at finding any untapped potential, so if there's a role we know you'll excel at, we'll find it. Cool. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Oh boy. <laughs> I doubt I'll make it five months. <laughs> That's about me, yeah. <clears throat> in five years, I'll be running this company. Huh. With that attitude, I think you meant five weeks. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. <laughs> On a probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogen Salzo, and you should get served right away. Pick up coffee at Terra Brew. We should have a talk. When you have the time, of course. Well, I'm yeah. Listening. I have an important personal decision to make. But I need to discuss something with you first. Phew, thank you. So, where to start? Um, before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military. Part of the United Colonies Navy. When the colony war broke out, I was posted as the chief navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. Then you were right. I didn't want to go into detail before because... Well, just hear me out. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Ata Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. Mm. We lost 12 ships that day. 12. Including my own. Damn. Economic reasons. Several of the worlds in the Cassiopeia <coughs> system were mineral rich. Both sides wanted to drop refinery outposts on the surface to bolster their supply. With hundreds of lives lost on both sides, I'd argue there were no winners at all. Now let me finish. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day, which put me in command. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship, but I was so angry. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight. The Dauntless was a tough little ship. No shields and the hull was breached, but it still had power. And weapons. That's why I remained in the battle. Huge mistake. Mm. I believe you. But you haven't heard the worst of this. We fought for hours, but the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship, and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I... I heard screams before the radio cut. Oh. The last thing I saw, they were... spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... <sighs> there was nothing I could do. Thank you. But condolences can't reverse what I've done. I was caught up in the moment. An inexperienced captain making rash decisions that cost people their lives. Mm. Try telling that to their loved ones. When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal. 
I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. After I checked every section of the ship for wounded crew, I took the other escape shuttle. If I hadn't, I would have died. The Dauntless came apart minutes after I escaped. That's true, but still, it doesn't erase the real issue here. Remember when you said no one but me would have pushed harder to keep the Navigator core going? Well, this time, pushing too hard cost lives. Uh. Don't you get it? Everything I do, everything I touch, somehow falls apart. That's why I'm worried about us. Look, it's clear the two of us are becoming more than partners. We're becoming close friends. Even though I've pushed people away in the past, I feel different when I'm around you. I feel safer, comfortable, not afraid to admit who I am. I'm terrified I'm going to screw that up. After everything you've heard, all my stories, you still have faith. No one's ever cared about me this much. Not even Asha. You know, I've spent a lot of time thinking about us, about our relationship, how we've clearly become close. I practiced what I was going to say when the moment was right, and now that it's here, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> ah. Look, you deserve the best. Someone who can give themselves to you entirely. But right now, I have too much baggage. Too much on my mind. I hope you'll forgive me for pushing you away. I just need time. Understandable. I'd hate to be on Miss Salso's bad side. <laughs> and now we need to go order a coffee. From Terra Brew. Luckily, it's just down the road. I mean, yeah. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I probably gotta pay for it too, don't I? Mm. I can't afford that. Crap. Crap on a cracker. Hello, and welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? Oh, the reunion order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did you finally get that promotion? I got fired is what happened. And this... is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody?! You don't even know your own boss's boss. Ularu is Ryujin's head of operations, or resident shark, if you ask me. If she smells blood in the water, you're dead. Like, who knows? I, I looked at someone wrong. The coffee wasn't hot. They didn't even have the decency to tell me. They just had security escort me out of the building. Like, like some criminal. Yeah, I bet you are. No one's ever sorry in this business. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Believe me, it's either you or me. 
No one's been sent to terminate anyone. Now, why don't you just calm down? Hmm? Before someone accidentally gets hurt. You don't just get to learn all the ins and outs of Ryujin operations and then just walk away. Even worse, I got fired! <laughs> they don't let that kind of knowledge run around in the head of disgruntled employees. It's just a matter of time before they send you after me. So, I'm taking matters into my own hands. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. Uh... You, you can't be that good. Not yet. Look, at some point, Ulara really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. <laughs> Let's just say, Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now she's gonna see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time before our paths cross again. Okay, and when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me. Like I listen to you. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Uh... Tomo had been Ryujin's errand boy for some time now. Lots of ambition. Dying to get up that food chain, if you know what I mean. He always seemed really nice, so a stunt like that? <laughs> I never saw it coming. Ryujin has connections everywhere. Even Benjamin Bayou. You know, the very man that runs Neon. They're practically untouchable around here. Just getting in with them, you're setting yourself up for life. Well, provided you don't get fired first, of course. Are you serious? That's the most excitement I've had in months. <laughs> I feel like I should be thanking you. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. All right, cool. We've got you covered. Morning, noon, or night. So, we might be sent after him to end him. Interesting. If that's the truth, we will. Oh, what is this? I've had enough, Rosa. Seagard's gone too far this time. Oh, no. Let it go? Why should I? Have to let Every go. time he we'll come back. Insect, he enables them, Rosa. He's telling them it's okay to blackmail us. It's ridiculous. It's the way things are, Jay. All right. There's nothing else you wish there was but change. Hey there. Welcome to Newell's. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Sieghart himself. Hmm. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money, I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. 
A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchants' alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Hmm. Let me know if we can make a deal. Okay. I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That'd be extremely helpful. I honestly don't know what to say. Fair enough. Just be careful when you're dealing with Seagert. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. Watch now your back James, out there. I don't want you to get upset. <coughs> Administrator Bay, you came by while you were out. Huh? Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. Do I sound that awful? I didn't even realize. Terrible, just terrible. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart who he's angry at for paying off Neon security. I don't believe he is, mm. no. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do, to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James I said that. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. It's just a feeling that I have about Dietrich. I'm sure he's paying off Neon security because he has no choice. I can't afford to fight back like my husband expects. I have no idea. Anytime the subject comes up, it turns into an argument. Frankly, he's so obsessed with this Dietrich situation, I don't think he's listening to me at all. Well, thank you. I can't remember the last time a total stranger walked into our store and offered to help. It would be so lovely to see my James happy again. He used to smile at me all the time, you know. Now all I see is worry on his face. I suppose you can speak with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store a bit before you do? Thank you for stopping by. All right, I will get to that later. <clears throat> I want to go deliver the coffee. <clears throat> Is that another store? Maybe, who knows. Operations. Huh. Six thirty. What is it? I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup?
Good answer. And the one I was hoping for, since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention, and we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Wow. Talking through it was the right way to handle the situation. I'm proud of you. Let me explain. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? In mm. any case where a threat to success is established, one of us is sent out to create a more desired outcome. This may be through a conversation or presenting some new information. It's all very situational, as you'll soon see. Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary? You're basically removing obstacles from the equation. Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, it would take away our edge. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Yeah, what is it? Meet all of them, huh? Don't wander into any restricted areas. Excuse me? I will go wherever I dang well please. Really? I want that TV. Can I have this? Is this a TV? I want it. I hit the X, but nothing happens. Damn it. Oh. <gasps> Don't mind me. I'm not here. I'm not actually doing this. It doesn't exist. You guys see nothing. I'm not actually doing this. I'm not actually here. I'm not here right now. Please leave your name and number after the beep. That one goes there. I cannot go anywhere else. Okay, so that one is now lined up. Um. All right. I need to get all of these lined up before I do anything else. I am going to say this one goes here. That one. I was right. This one does go here. Okay, then. Well, it's not that one, that's for sure. Each hit deals more damage. I think this one is stronger than one I have now. Oh, oh 
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Each hit does more damage. I think this was worth doing. I really do. <clears throat> oh my goody gumdrops. That lock didn't last very long. No, it did not. Yeah, no. This one is better than this one. By far. I mean, yes, it has to reload every two shots, but... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I know. This one is still better. Because I can suppress this one where I don't have this one suppressed. I will see if I can change this one or modify this one to where I can have it suppressed and use slugs. Is this one using slugs? It is not using slugs. Oh no. <clears throat> Are there any more that we can open up? Oh man, are there any more? What is this room? Wait a minute. No. No. <laughs> ah. Oh, it says lift. Eh? For those of you who know, oh, I ran out of power. I thought it would run out or, you know, get cut, but it didn't. Damn it. Why have a room here, though? Makes no sense. If I can't utilize it, makes no sense. Maybe I can't if I do something else. Who knows? Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Who cares? I'm a little busy right now. Really? A <laughs> six slice toaster? What the frick? I better do this right. I don't want you to breathe down my neck about it. Is that an air fryer? <laughs> Let's see if we can find any more safes. A gala at the new Atlantis Free Star Embassy. Hey, can I have a ride? Hey, buddy, can I have a ride? Hey, buddy, come here. Hey, no. Damn it! I must find more safes. Imogene and Yuko run a tight ship around here. Oh. This intel could blow a whole operation out of the water. What is she working on there, but stock markets? Oh. I'm just gonna leave that alone. I must. I must find more safes. Uh, where does this go? Oh joy, where does this go? Hi! Don't cause any trouble. Ho oh, ho! Eh, that's all it is. Eh, who cares? Who cares about that crap? 
There is never anything no good. Any restricted areas. They have a file cabinet in a in a cell. Why? <laughs> Don't wander into any restricted areas. Oh, my eyeballs are watering. Why, dude? Oh my lord. Oh. Yeah, no, I'll pass on that. Thank you very much. Don't cause any trouble. Uh, yeah, I I don't plan on it. But I might because my eyeball is watering and it sucks. I'm gonna feel so much safer with one of those drone security robots. This place yeah. is. Welcome to Reunion Tower. Enjoy your day. Hello there. Uh, thanks for visiting the drone offices at Ryujin Tower. Can I help you find something? Oh, <clears throat> by the way, I'm uh, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> Robert. Sorry, I should have introduced myself when you walked up. I I'm still adjusting to this whole office manager thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> First week. Thanks for saying that. I'm new at this. I'm still getting my feet under me. Anyway, take a look around the office if you want. It's open to the public. Everybody's pretty busy, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't disturb them too much. Oh, and uh, uh, thank you for visiting Ryujin Tower. Yeah, Enjoy of course. Your day. Don't be a stranger. Keep out of my way, and I'll keep out of yours. Oh, I see why you're here. You're to make sure he doesn't watch pornography, aren't you? Yeah. By the technical. School. Or are you the? Mm, yeah. Come to check out our latest models. I you're here to make sure he doesn't look at pornography. Got it. Space porn. Budget. They'd be an immense help to our operation. The showroom's worth checking out while you're here. Hmm. I know I should be doing the stuff and you know, the missions and all that, but I'm exploring. If you don't like it, bite me. No safe in here, seriously? Just a random room with nothing in it? Why? Oh. Huh. <laughs> Damn boy. Oh. Where did this go? <laughs> Where did this go? Let's find out. Out of order, my boy. <laughs> I can easily do it too. <laughs> I think this is one of the um, restricted sections of the of the area. It says a lift, but I can't lift it. Where does this go? What do I do here? <laughs> what is this? Oh, I mean, what if I do? Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> no way. <laughs> and they don't care. And they don't care. All right, they don't give a crap. Don't cause any trouble. Interesting. The drone seems like a tough gig. Don't wander into any restricted areas. I think I already did. <laughs> I think I already did. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. Who cares? I found a fun new game to play. Where'd it go? It just went bye bye. Cool. Keep out of my way. Oh, here it is. Out of yours. There it is. All right. Where is the entrance to these people? Right there. All right. Let's make a save. Well, that was fun exploring a building. <sighs> Wait a minute. He looks like the guy from Cyberpunk. Yeah, he does. You're in the wrong game, sir. Wait, no, 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 no. The CEO goes down here. Ha! <laughs> I'm the CEO now. Just. <laughs> I can't talk to her. Why? Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? Clean up, of course. Journalists are pretty quick at putting two and two together. And I get the pleasure of making sure those connections are never made. Hmm. Or, if they are, handling the fallout. A few slip-ups are to be expected. Just know that one screw-up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So, any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Hmm, okay. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. For the past five years. Tranquility is a recent acquisition and we've only just begun to develop the brand. Hmm. You may have seen how several vendors carry the product now. Uh, another tea lover to join the ranks. Christine would love to meet you. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Uh -oh. Which hopefully won't be often. Yes, mistakes are often costly and involve substantial cleanup, both literally and figuratively. Law enforcement, witnesses, evidence, everything has its cost. Witnesses? <laughs> 
Good. Then it appears we have nothing left to discuss. This introduction was not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Witnesses? Fudge. So I wonder... Hmm. Hmm, I wonder if they're going to be close to the, um... The Dark Brotherhood, in a, in a sense. Um, hello? Really? I gotta point at his... Okay. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Gamden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. I have the glorious job of keeping all the departments supplied with exactly what they need. Anything from rare materials for R&D to slates and design software for marketing. You could hmm. say I'm the one aspect of operations that keeps this department legit. Well, not compared to you field operatives or technicians, but it is a vital role nonetheless. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. I get your point, but if anything, take comfort in knowing that you're the one deciding the methods behind your assignments. Not only that, but corporate espionage is the norm. Ryujin just handles it better than most. Competitor operatives have done far worse to accomplish less. Well, neuroamps for one. They aid in mental illness, confidence boosting, and focus. Drone robots for maintenance and security. Tranquility for relaxation. Arboron for protection. Your work only helps us improve and expand upon these products that so many people love and benefit from. <clears throat> Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Corporate espionage. Yeah, they kind of sound like the Dark Brotherhood, in a way. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. <laughs> Sounds like something my son would say. And no, I don't mean that as a compliment. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. Okay. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. For one, our connections with Bayou automatically grant us a slight connection with the Rangers. He has some amount of influence with his seat on the Council of Governors. But our strongest connection is local, with Ranger Price. He's the Free Star Ranger stationed here on Neon, and much to my dismay, my son. He could have been an amazing lawyer or businessman. But instead, he's chosen to waste his talents to protect the people of the Free Star Collective. Administrator Bayou runs Neon and is on the Free Star Collective's Council of Governors. We have a long standing symbiotic relationship due to the contributions that Ryujin Tower brings to Neon. Let's hope your best is good enough. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. Uh, 
I can only imagine. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Uh-oh. <sighs> Hardly. This is the standard run-of-the-mill tactic we've come to expect from them. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Think of it as a lesson that Keltcorp gets to learn the hard way. Ooh, a virus. That's up for you to determine. Think of it as the creative aspect of your job. There's always more than one way to get a job done around here. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Two more digipigs. Wow, okay. Can I look at the... At the slate. I cannot read it, okay. So it's basically a file that I cannot read. Yep, virus. Okay, where are we going? Neon core. Okay, so we're staying in this area. Okay. We're doing corporate espionage. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder if having the chameleon bonus suit would work, but I don't have that right now. Because I don't have it. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. That. Do 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 do. How close am I to a level? I'm getting there. I mean, doing that one quest gave me 250. So. Oh uh, well, I guess we're going here then, aren't we? Wow, so this is where all of them are. So I'm betting all of their missions are are based here. Maybe. Cobalt, iron, aluminium, maybe. Fancy rock. What are you looking at? Unless this is about mass purchasing some mining equipment, I'm far too busy to stop and chat. Hidden boys. Let's do it. Nuvis. Access 50 computers. We're jacked. Well, this one obviously does not go here. Well, okay, so this one will be...
I fudged it already. I fudged it. That one does not go there. That one does not go there either. So it might go over here. Nope. Okay, so it's not this one. Not this one either. Fair enough. Serious? Oh my god, I did. God bless it, dude. Oh my god. Ah. I hate these things so much. I really do. <coughs> well, that one is not going there. That one does not go here either, so where does this one go then? Oh my lord, dude. Okay, well this is just... Okay, finally got two of them. Good god. Oh my god, how hard was that? What do you want to do with the basement? I don't know, but I got If the gangs can keep from killing each other, interruptions just might have a nice game. Alright, so yeah, I think this is all it is, this is just this kind of stuff, which I mean If that's all it is, then that, you know, whatever. But I hope there's more. I hope there's more to it than this, but we'll see. So let's turn this one in and see what our next one is. This report isn't bad, but you're going to need more supporting evidence. Imogen's a stickler for details. There's always work to be done. Pace yourself, but make it a fast one. You're interrupting me. Is this time accounted for? We're on a strict schedule. I just want to make sure this impromptu meeting is properly tracked. Then I will remind you that the schedule exists for a reason, and we seem to be ignoring it. If time is money, then suffice to say Ms. Serrano would not be pleased with such a frivolous expenditure. No, I suppose she doesn't. And since you clearly have bandwidth to spare, maybe you can help me clean up a um, minor indiscretion.
Good. Let me give you some background. Recently, I've been assisting the impoverished in both Ebside and the Underbelly. I pay for the occasional meal, clinic visit, or comfort. But I may have lost a slate in the process. Uh -oh. I need you to locate and retrieve it for me. Pre-assignment intel for one of our operatives. The contents themselves aren't too sensitive, so if you're thinking of betraying me, they aren't worth much as leverage. My sloppiness is simply an embarrassment that I'd like to correct. It's not a matter of trust, but one of time. I have little to spare. You do not. Then we have an agreement. Good. Go to the underbelly and talk to the panhandler, Huang. Discarded items are her specialty. So, she may have come across the slate herself. If you can manage to find it, bring it back to me. And I will pay you for the time. As you were. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Mm -hmm. So, you've gotten caught in the past. Now's the time to make new habits. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. They're the Thieves Guild. Not the... Okay, yeah. They're the Thieves Guild. That's what they are. Okay, yeah. They're this game's Thieves Guild. I like that. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. We want a clean and careful job. Obviously, we don't want any bad press at this point, or we could lose the deal. I don't want to hear any news about bounties or bodies coming out of Aquila City. Yeah, they're the Thieves Guild. The inspection will be similar to an audit. These things are usually pretty thorough. Filing cabinets, desks... I trust you can be smart about it. That's the motivational mentality our executives love to hear. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. More DigiPix? Wow. Yeah, they are definitely the Thief's Guild. I like that. I like that. Well, anyways, I am going to put a cut in the video here. And if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day.